Luma Fusion's Color and Effects Editor gives editors hands-on control over the color properties of their clips. In the color category, at the top of the presets list, adjustments can be made from either the clip's unaltered state by applying the original preset, or editors can choose to use a ready-made preset from the selection, perfect for a quick fix or to get some creative inspiration. No matter which preset is chosen, editors can continue refining the look using the individual color controls below. So let's go through each attribute. The five points on the level sliders enable you to set the brightness for each luminance range and the contrast between them. The brightness below lightens or darkens your clip across all colors in your image. Contrast adjusts the luminance difference between the dark and light areas. This is helpful for correcting flat or muddy images. Saturation increases or decreases the intensity of the color in your image. Vibrance, on the other hand, focuses on cool colors like blue or green and has less effect on warm colors. That makes it perfect for leaving skin tones intact while increasing the saturation of other colors in your clip. The highlight shadow radius adjusts the number of pixels used to transition from shadow areas to highlight areas. This is clear to see when used in conjunction with changes to the highlight and shadow amount below. When you make changes to the highlight amount here, you adjust the highlight levels without affecting the shadows. When you make changes to the shadow amount, you'll adjust the shadow levels without affecting the highlights. Next, there are three color temperature sliders for red, green and blue. Each slider adjusts the temperature between a primary color and its secondary counterparts in your clip. With just subtle adjustments here, you can add warmth or cool your clip down, shifting the balance between the three primary colors. Use the gamma slider below this to control how brightness is distributed across your image, allowing you to decide whether you want to see more detail in the shadows or more detail in the highlights. This is especially useful when working with footage that looks a bit flat on screen. When you adjust the hue of your image, unlike the temperature controls above, the hue will rotate the phase of all colors equally, which, although is rarely needed, can be used by editors to create an inverse color effect. And lastly, tint alters the white balance of your clip. Click the eyedropper tool and slide the color reticle to a color on the screen to select it. Alternatively, you can tap the white dot. This will display the color panel where you can pick a color from the grid or spectrum, adjust the RGB sliders, enter RGB values manually, input a color code, and even save color samples using the plus button. While you're color correcting your clips in LumaFusion, you may also like to achieve more accurate depictions of your clip's color by tapping the video scopes icon at the top of the interface. Here you can use the histogram, waveform and vector scope displays to show objective colour information for the current frame of the selected clip. Spend some time experimenting with these tools while you alter the colour attributes of your clip. Once you develop a feel for how these properties will affect your image, you can edit with confidence, making everything from subtle corrections to bold colour transformations, right inside LumaFusion.